I got you stuck off the realness. I got you stuck off the realness. I got, I got, I got, I got you stuck off the realness. What's good, DC? I'm back with another guy video, and this one I'm going to be covering AFK farming for console players. So if you play on the Xbox or the PlayStation, listen up because this is all you need to know about AFK farming. Now, most players that do this legit, they go out into the open world of Metropolis or Gotham because you don't get clamped out here, and you can one shot the ads. You kill an ad, you get your artifact uh, XP and your ally favor for your allies. And, you know, you go off for two, three minutes and you come back and you kill another ad and one shot them and you get more XP. This is the legit way to do it. However, there's way better options than this to go about it. Now, in this video, I'm going to cover basically all of them. So without further ado, let's get into it. Before I get into the guide, I quickly want to point out that in the Dr. Face vendor, you can buy nth metal detectors, which increase your yield on artifact XP. You even get these little boxes that gives you even more XP from them. You can get five per week. It resets once a week, every Tuesday, I believe. You can also get these from the broker um, and the marketplace. I don't recommend getting them from the marketplace, though. Now, before I can show you all the AFK farming spots for consoles and how to do it, I need to go over how the PC players can do it because this is how it all originated. So as you see right there, the PC player can use speed hacks with a macro. What this means, they use a speed hack to teleport into the arena, they kill the boss really fast, they teleport out and the boss resets. Now this spot in particular was already patched, but there are several spots that you can still do this in. I would argue there's a lot more that people don't even know about. But as you see right there, every time the speed hacker goes in, kills the boss, you get loot. Now imagine doing this overnight for 12 hours straight while you're sleeping or while you go to work and you, you go to school or whatever the case may be. You come home, you, you, you get on the game, you got all this loot. Here's the end result, what these speed hackers can accomplish. They run the macro and the hack program on their PC account and they'll AFK farm basically from server start to server reset they'll log in when the world gets booted back up from maintenance and they have all this gear to break down you can sit here break it all down you can sell the exobytes you go on the broker right now you'll find 99 stacks of exobytes all over the place from all different kinds uh, mostly mk18s and 19s right now and that's usually done by speed hacking here's another demonstration if you don't want to break down the gear as a speed hacker you know how do you think these bots that sell dc cash all the time on the chat how do you think they're making it they're sitting there afk farming you can sit there and sell the gear in the vendor and just accumulate millions over time just by selling gear this is just another example of what they they can do this is the end results three million dc cash from just selling gear that you earn from AFK farming overnight. Here's the end results. You get all these source marks and you get 999 stacks of all the catalysts you need to sell in the broker. There's so much more I can say about AFK farming with speed hacks and macros, but I don't have time. So let's move on. So in order to be able to AFK farm on consoles like Xbox or PlayStation, right here you see I'm in Metropolis. This is the best you can do. You're not gonna be able to get loot like the hackers can but you'll still be able to get your artifact xp and your ally favor you see right here i'm blocking and the block alone kills the ad when they hit you so in order to do this right you're going to take a rubber band and you or a hair tie and you're going to wrap it around your block button i play on playstation so that'll be my r1 and that's basically it you wrap it around your R1 or your block button, depending on what your what console you're playing, and you just sit out here, and you the ads will beat you up because you're not clamped. You're not gonna get killed at all, and the ads will get one shotted by you just blocking. Now the number one problem I found with this method is that eventually this open world will kick you. The server will just kick you off the game. You don't get disconnected because you're you're AFK. You have your you have your rubber band or hair tie wrapped around your block button you can wrap it around your block button and you'll the ads will spawn and kill you'll get xp for like 30 minutes but then the server will kick you out the only explanation as to why is this happening is because players 
are grouping up with other players and they're trying to phase all into the same phase and the, basically the server's basically kicking you out to make room for those groups trying to phase together that's the only explanation that i can come up with right here you're going to see it happen in a moment i'm i'm been afk farm farming these ads for a good 25 to 30 minutes and right here you're going to see it's just going to kick me out you don't even get disconnected i'm not away I'm not away at all. It's just going to kick me for no reason. And the only explanation is because the server is making room for groups that are grouping up. Or maybe the buildings eventually cause you to just disconnect. See? Makes no sense. But let's move on because I got better spots for y'all. Alright, so here's a second spot in the open world you can do this in. This is also Metropolis. This is right near the other spot I just showed you. Which the first spot was Steelworks. Now we're near the... Um, the shipping yards where um where the atlanteans are at see right here on the map so let's fly down i'm gonna show you right here so down here you're gonna see these pools right and the atlanteans basically spawn from this these pool areas and you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna take your um your rubber band or hair tie and you're gonna wrap it around your block button and you're just gonna sit here and block but again, eventually, after 20, 30 minutes, the server will boot you because of all the players in Little Bohemia trying to face together so that they can cosplay. That's basically what's happening here. So there's a better spot. Now, when it comes to the best open world spot to do this in, it's, it's the bridge to Arkham and, and Gotham. However, this spot comes with a lot of issues. Sometimes you get PC hackers that don't know how to AFK farm in instances. So they'll come out here and try to do it and they'll kill your ads. That's the least of your problems though. The other problem is the PVP players. They'll come out here and mess with you. They'll spawn the beach balls and like push you. While you're AFK, you'll be go, you'll wrap your, your rubber band around your block button leave you know to go eat or do something go to school you come back and your tune is all the way at the end of the bridge not getting no loot because the the pvp players are pushing you with the beach balls if you try to do this in pvp phase the pvp players are just going to kill you now the number one the number one issue with this is the snitches the players that only log into the game to report other players that are breaking terms of service. And unfortunately, AFK farming, artifact XP, and ally XP is against terms of service. Go figure. They put a timer on the XP and they made it, they made it against terms of service to farm it like this. Why? To incentivize you to spend money in the marketplace. Because I'm I'm gonna tell y'all right now. It takes over a month farming 24-7 XP to just get one artifact from 0 to 200. It'll take you about 35 days farming 24-7 with the timer that they got on this game. The devs know this. So this is why I call them con artists. You know, they're scammers. And it's, you know, what I can't really say is the devs. In all, in all honesty, it's not the devs. It's the management. It's the CEO, uh, G Ham. If, if we're gonna get, if we're gonna get specific with facts, it's G Ham, the CEO of Daybreak and uh, EG7. That's who's causing the, the monetization issues with this game. But besides the point, I digress. There's a better spot than this. You don't have to worry about pvp players you don't have to worry about snitches looking for people uh, breaking terms of service by the way if you're a player that looks for other players breaking terms of service that's all you log into the game to do is to snitch on other players get a life get a life man that's all i can say get a life because the devs aren't paying you to do that you're not part of the creator snitch club you're not getting free membership for it you're just doing it to what sleep good at night because your life sucks let's move on now there are several instances you can queue up that you can AFK farm in so that you don't have to worry about snitches or any PvP players messing up your farm. I'm only going to show you one. I'm hoping with the knowledge of you knowing how to do this, you can venture off on your own and find more spots. But we're going to go into Brainiac Overrun Area 51 Duo. This is the Brainiac Returns DLC. Now we're at last boss Bizarro. Alright. 
If you don't have two consoles and you can't queue yourself up, you're going to have to ask somebody to help you queue and then they leave. Now, if you have a friend you want to farm with them, you both can farm in here and it'll work. Eventually, it messes up and one of y'all won't get loot. I don't know what causes that to happen, but if it does happen, all you have to do is run away, reset Bizarro, and kill him again. Now, what you want to do so that this is more consistent, you want to kill Bizarro next to where the healing barrels spawn. So that's basically what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to burn them down. Now, again, if if you don't have a friend to help you queue, you, you can queue up by yourself like randomly and then just AFK all together on the other player. Hopefully the player leaves, quits on you, and then you close the instance and then you're in here by yourself, you know. But you basically kill Bizarro, you bring him down, and then you want to come up here you don't want to go up on the bridge because ads eventually will spawn up there. You want to come up in this area. If one of the clones follow you, just kill them real quick and they won't bother you anymore. And you basically can sit up here and Bizarro will start making the healing barrel on the right despawn every time it spawns up. And the healing barrel on the left will despawn as well. And you'll start get, getting ally favor, artifact XP, and whatever the current time capsule is. That's it. You won't be able to get source marks like the speed hackers, but this is how you basically do it on console. You don't have to worry with people messing up your farm or anybody reporting you. You can come in here and do this on your own. Now, in order to AFK properly, you're going to want to take a hair tie or a rubber band and wrap it around your R2 button instead of your block button or L2 button. I play on PlayStation. So you see my loadout bar, how it's highlighted, my square, my triangle, my circle, my X with my R2 button. Well, that means the game thinks I'm actively trying to activate my loadout, right? You see it flickering? That's me hitting the buttons. Now, when it's solid, right? It's gonna go solid. I'm tying the rubber band or the hair tie around my R2. And now the game is registering that I'm playing. And it's not going to kick me. I'm not going to go away. And I can sit here 24-7. Leave the PlayStation. It's ideal to get a controller that is old and busted. A PS4 controller that you don't use. That maybe has a lot of strict stick drift. And you use that. You, you plug the controller to a USB cord. And that's it. You see that right, right here? I got a Apocalyptian Overlord time capsule from the barrel on the left side that just despawned that's how you afk farm on console you can sit here turn off the tv or switch the channel watch some ch something else if you have a playstation 5 if you didn't know this if you own a playstation 4 and you own a playstation 5 this is an example you can play a playstation 5 game while being on the playstation 4 version of of DCUO on the same account you won't get kicked out so I can go play Call of Duty Black Ops 6 on the PS5 while on my PlayStation 4 DCUO is running in the background and I'm AFK farming like this right and I'll go play something else or watch Netflix or watch TV or if you got to go to school go to work turn off the TV let the system run tie that rubber band around your R2 plug the usb core so that your controller is charging and let it run let it run all day and night by the time you're ready to come on the game and play you're gonna have all the xp you need to level up your artifacts slowly but surely if you want to know exactly how long it's going to take you if you pop nth metal detectors all right it'll take you about 35 days doing this 24 7 but basically every two to three minutes you're going to get a drop Right there, you see I got ally favor when the healing barrel despawn. The next three minutes, it might give me artifact XP or more ally favor. Three minutes after that, it will give me a time capsule. If I pop nth metal detectors, it will increase the yield on the artifact XP. And every, every 15 minutes or so, you get a box. I think you get five to six boxes in total for every nth metal detector you pop per hour. And that's basically it, y'all. Now, I'm sure if somebody reports this, they'll patch it. I'm actually optimistic with how, how, how much hacking is involved in this game. A lot of the devs at Dimensional Inc. are aware of it. I'm optimistic. I believe a developer over there purposely left this like this for console players to take advantage of it.
you know, even the playing field. But I could be wrong. Who knows? All I know is that you guys now have the knowledge on how to AFK farm. And if this does get patched, we'll branch off. Go find more spots. Trust me, there's more. In conclusion, we shouldn't have to be forced to farm like this. However, the CEO at Daybreak Games and EG7 is trying to funnel all the money from this game to fund other projects. And they've got a timer on XP. No MMO does this. You go to another MMO like Elder Scrolls Online, you kill an ad, you get experience points for your ally, which over there they're called companions, and you get experience points towards your artifacts, which over there they're called champion points. Right? That's how it is. But on DCUO, you kill an ad and you gotta wait two to three minutes to get another drop. And that drop is gonna be random between two different XP drops and a time capsule that's why it takes 35 days to level up an artifact legit from 0 to 200 by just playing the game overall you can increase that by you know using your dr fate tokens to buy xp packs or spend real life money but that's that's not how a game should be structured they shouldn't monetize it like that that's considered pay to win in the end and players that are wanting to play the game for free have to have to do cheeses like this or sell DC cash and then spend it in the marketplace. I'm done. I got you stuck off the realness. I got you stuck off the realness. I got I got I got I got you stuck off